this whole trip, it seems like it's gotten to both of us. It's just put a lot onto my mind now, and... I, I don't understand. She don't ever understand. Hey, everyone. Max here, back with all the juicy details from Season 7 of 90 Day Fiancé. This season may have aired a while ago, but the unforgettable moments and explosive drama are still fresh in our minds. So, let's dive deeper into the captivating events that unfolded and kept us glued to our screens. One of the most talked about couples from Season 7 was Natalie and Mike. Their journey together began with high hopes, but as the season progressed, it became increasingly clear that they were a mismatched pair. The bombshell moment that left viewers shocked came at the end of the season when their relationship reached a breaking point. During Mike's trip to Ukraine, tensions escalated and Natalie became hesitant about expressing her love for him. Feeling hurt and frustrated, Mike took it personally. But it was Natalie's dramatic act of tossing her engagement ring into Mike's suitcase that truly left us in awe. It seemed like the end of the road for them, at least until season 8 premiered. Angela and Michael, another unforgettable couple, had their fair share of ups and downs throughout Season 7. Coming off their appearance on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days, where they experienced multiple breakups and reconciliations, they were determined to make their relationship work. Angela and Michael's journey to the altar was far from easy. Angela initially traveled to Nigeria but returned to the USA after facing immense pressure to get married. However, her love for Michael pushed her to reapply for a spousal visa and make the decision to marry him in Nigeria. Their wedding day turned out to be surprisingly beautiful, despite the rocky road they had traveled. Angela's passionate and at times confrontational personality added a unique dynamic to their story, leaving viewers both entertained and astonished. Tanya and Sinjin's relationship was marked by chaos and incompatibility, making them a memorable couple in Season 7. Their journey together ultimately led to their split on 90 Day, The Single Life. But it was a hilarious and cringeworthy moment at the airport that left a lasting impression. Tanya, filled with excitement to see her South African beau, scattered flower petals to create a romantic ambience. However, her plans were swiftly thwarted when an airport worker promptly swept up the petals, following protocol. This unexpected turn of events perfectly captured the mismatched energy between Tanya and Sinjin, and it was no surprise when they eventually parted ways. Let's not forget Juliana and Michael, a couple with a significant age difference that raised eyebrows among viewers. Juliana, an international fashion model from Brazil, faced accusations of being a gold digger due to the vast differences in their backgrounds and financial situations. With Juliana's impoverished upbringing and Michael's established wealth, skepticism arose about her intentions. However, as Season 7 progressed, Juliana's genuine love and sincerity won over Michael's family and friends, putting the gold digger rumors to rest. Their journey ended on a positive note, but as we all know, life can take unexpected turns. Language barriers became a significant hurdle for Anna and Mersel, a couple from Season 7. As an American mom and a Turkish man, they faced numerous challenges when transitioning from an online relationship to real life. The lack of a common language made communication difficult, and they often relied on translators to express themselves. Cultural differences also played a role, as Mersel hesitated to inform his family about Anna's children. Despite these obstacles, their love prevailed, and surprisingly, they tied the knot at the end of the season. Sasha and Emily might not be the most well-known couple from Season 7, but their storyline had its fair share of surprises. Sasha, a personal trainer, caused quite a stir when he repeatedly shamed Emily for her post-baby weight gain. Viewers were quick to express their disdain for Sasha's disrespectful behavior towards the mother of his child. This brought attention to the complexities and challenges faced by couples when dealing with body image and societal expectations. Reflecting on all these bombshell moments from Season 7, it's clear that the 90 Day Fiancé franchise continues to captivate audiences with its mix of love, drama, and cultural clashes. These couples showcase the highs and lows of international relationships, reminding us that the path to love is not always smooth. Now, I want to hear from you. Which moment from Season 7 of 90 Day Fiancé caught you off guard the most? Was it Natalie's ring toss, Tanya's flower petal fail, or something entirely different? Share your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more captivating updates on your favorite reality TV stars. 
Until next time, take care and stay tuned for more explosive gossip. Keep living your best life, folks. Peace out.